Cottleville Trails is finally here. So today, super excited to show you inside the Lombardo display and the McKelvey display home. This is part one out of two videos. The next video will be inside the consort display and Fisher and Fritchell. So sales are now open. So we're gonna show you and talk a little bit about availability, what these homes are looking like and progress so far in the Cottleville Trails neighborhood. This is a massive, massive new development right next to Old Town Cottleville in the middle of every Thing. So this is super exciting. Let's get right to it. I'm gonna say hi. Hey! <laughs> so here we are. We're in the Rainier display over here, Cottleville Trails. So this is a display home by Lombardo. Look at the ceiling. Yes. Two-story living room. Two -story. This one actually backs to a little bit of a pond. Love the kitchen. Yes. Oh my gosh. This is the countertop that they made a table, table. out of it. Yeah. <gasps> okay, A plus. And you could probably fit three chairs on each side and two. You could probably put eight people here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Huge space. There are lots of people here. This is the Lombardo signature. signature. Yes. Mm -hmm. That you see in almost every display. What's up? The chef's kitchen. Okay. Yeah, the chef's kitchen. The chef's Does follow it wrap me around? Through, follow me through the pantry. <laughs> wow. Oh, I thought it was going to come out the other side. You know, okay, what I mean? that on, would be on the cool. other side that, of the. the that oven. would be cool. But <laughs> I did too. I was like, oh, we're going to go through. We're going to go through the hotel. Oh my goodness, it's a refrigerator. Fantastic upgrade. Yes. Wow, okay. I love how they design it to where you can shut off the laundry room. Me too. Yeah. So you're not walking into the laundry room, right? You can close the door, it can be a mess, and no one ever has to know. Right. Yep. So they kept the cabinets in the kitchen, they brought them in here. Yeah, same style in the kitchen and laundry room. Big car garage. Is it nice? Is it worth showing? Uh, maybe. You can always cut it on Yeah, is it worth showing in the video? I think so. Yeah. Okay, here's my cubby. You can't what? Which one do you want? This is what you need for I silence know. and Jackson. Maybe it's this one. Jacob cubby. gets that cubby. Yeah. Cubby for all of us. Yeah. You your next house is definitely has to have that. A lot of space. Yes. I, I love the tall ceilings. Tall ceilings. I like the detail up there, the light uh -huh. fixtures. And this is a huge it's space functional. and functional. The person that's here is not going to like they're missing out if they're not at the table at the time like right. your kids are sitting down and you're still doing something or still cooking it's like you can still hang out here on the table yeah. when someone's like making dinner or getting stuff ready soft clothes soft clothes <laughs> let's check out the master yes <laughs> after you after you <laughs> after you you too Wow. I like the details in here. I like the lighting fixture and then like the tree ceiling. And some so they did the upgraded ceiling. bay window. I love the feature wall with the wallpaper. I do love the feature wall. And it's got a nice texture. So here's the nice view, little outdoor area right there. And then this one's cool because it backs up to a little pond back there. So that's really cool. Mm -hmm. This would be mine. Welcome to my master bathroom. <gasps> That's what I love. Mm -hmm. The soaking tub. Okay, okay but wait. We have to do the shower test. The shower test? All right. Can we all fit in here? We got we to gotta test it out. This is going to be our thing now in the videos. We have to test out the shower. Okay, Mindy. Wait, you see Two shower heads. heads. Oh. This is our thing this now. This is a shower test. <laughs> Party in the okay, shower. Okay, we all fit. We fit. Okay, we Checks have, out. We have a bench. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I would do a really cool little bench. Yeah. Like that would be fun. Yeah. yeah, it's it's big. Yeah. Keep coming. Yeah, this is the master going. closet. It just keeps going. It doesn't end. I ducked my head like I was gonna hit my head on this. I'm too short for that. <laughs> You fit right underneath it. Yep. <laughs> it is Madison height. Check. 
I like these counters. I don't know like what type of stone that is. It's you know what I mean? It's like, okay, quartz, yeah. and then it's got like a little like, almost like glitter specks in it. You know what I mean? I gotta, I gotta show that. See, you're gonna start seeing the dark again. I, I do, I like the gold. I like how the gold I don't like that. Yeah, but that's too much. I don't, it's too much. The paint color. What is? But a paint color can be switched. Like yeah. the gold's coming back, but that's oh, the I separate the separate color in here. Okay, I don't think I showed that in the video. No, I like the accents of it. Yeah, Me too. I agree. I like the wall. I like the colors. I like the light fixture. Yeah. Because then you have the French doors to the office. Half bath in here. Looks very nice. So like just take a like look at this huge room just like from up here just to show like the size. The ceilings are huge. I like the chandelier a lot too. So this is the second floor, so bedrooms over there yes. and then one up here. But the loft area is up here. Yeah. yeah. So this is like a loft hangout area. Wow, some great board and batten. Yeah, I like the a wall. Lot of texture. Character. Is it a walk-in closet? Mm -hmm. Big closet. And what great views this room has. I know. Oh, that is big. I was just thinking, like, it's amazing this little water view that you get. Is it just me, too? Or, like, the outside of this one is, like, a new thing they're doing? The you know what I mean? Up. Yeah, because, like, the Rainier, I know that's a model they've had before, but, like, the way that this one looks, like, the arrangement of, like, the front it's is... It's a little more modern. It's got to be it's new. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's more modern with the stucco. Mm -hmm. I've always said Kansas City so much stucco right you said yes. that. yeah this yeah stucco. So yes I hope this is a new they're bringing it to yes. st louis I think yeah. they are bringing <laughs> finally st louis. i'm like let's jump on board so this is a nice bathroom that goes to the bedroom and the loft area yeah it's nice to have both yeah. access points i just love this floor plan because of the stairs you come up a couple to get to the loft yeah it yeah. kind of like separates and this from the other couple. bedrooms mm -hmm. to get to the bedrooms so second bedroom walk-in closet all the bedrooms have a good size closet yeah. and they're spacious yeah that's really nice i like how they all have the walk-in closet like even for right. these two because this is like this jack and jill suite so these are smaller rooms right but yeah yeah i don't know that i'd ever do that for functionality as far as the kids would destroy it yes they would what would Having kids with the fixture like this oh like, <laughs> you, you understand it's gonna get broken <laughs> But it looks going to be a great. ball that it hits it looks it great for being stocked. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's an amazing fixture. So another good size bedroom. Another walk-in closet. Huge. Oh, wow. This one's huge. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Go enjoy the scenery. You coming with us? <laughs> okay, what a beautiful day in St. Louis. Oh, gorgeous. It's not humid yet. Wow. This is huge. Huge. And the view is amazing. Like, yeah. massive outdoor area. Well, and the fact that you can hop on your golf cart and just ride right around the corner of me and Cottleville. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Like, you're very close to Old Town Cottleville. Like, it's literally like at the end of this subdivision just like connects right to it right. to root end over there. So this is really cool. And this is just a great example of what you're going to get with Lombardo in particular. So if you guys are interested in building here, buying a new construction house, whether it's Lombardo or one of the other builders, get in touch with us, send us an email, send us a text, whatever works for you. We'd love to help with that. Um, super familiar with Lombardo and all the other builders in here. We kind of have the inside scoop working with their salespeople and um, their marketing specialists. So if you're interested, get in touch with us. We'd love to help you. Yeah, How are we doing finished? with the four of us? Do we I think it's good so far. Do we need to so stay far. closer to you? Yeah. No, I think it's good. Someone else like wants to take the camera or like... God, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. no you I was going to say, yeah, I know. I'm I don't, I don't, I don't like... Tracy do the do you want to do it? Do you actually want to do it? Yeah, yes. just like, just you want to like, just hold out in front of you. Or you can just film me too if you want. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Is it recording? Yeah. It's you have to turn around to you and say you're taking over. Yeah. I'm taking over. Tracy Let's explore the basement. All right. Okay. Do 
Do your thing, Tracy. Yes. <laughs> oh. Not finished. Not finished. At least you can kind of get a sense of what it would look like. Okay, so it's a lookout, not a walkout. But there's right. a lot of space down here if you wanted to build it out. Massive entertainment space. Right. You have a sump pump over there in the corner. You have a rough end to put a bathroom. You have windows, so you don't feel like you're in the basement as yeah. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, it's a nine foot four. Looking at that wall, that's a nine foot four. When in doubt, measure Jake against the wall. Advice to anyone, do a nine foot four if you're building anyone. Always do a nine foot four. Yes, good advice. When budget allows, because you can't change that. Nine foot four, third car garage, rough ends, just like stuff you want to do. Those are construction, yeah. Electrical and lighting. Right. Those are the, you can swap out a fixture, but it's hard to go back and it's harder depending on if you're in a ranch or two story, but right. that's what I always want Yeah, no, invest in more of the structural upgrades and worry about the cosmetic stuff later on because mm -hmm. structural is, is tough to change later on. Yeah. Right. I mean, this is a good size basement for a two story. Okay. Just wanna hold the camera, say what's up to the video. What's up, YouTubers? We are out here, Coddle the Missouri. It can't be warmer than what, 70 degrees right now? Nice we have yeah. Jacob, we have Mindy, we have Tracy, half of the squad. So we are taking you on a real life look. Literally, we are walking. We're Here's walking the angle. <laughs> we are walking, so we are in, whoop! This is why Jacob holds the camera, not me. So we are walking over to the McKelvey Display Home. Cottleville Trails has four builders. McKelvey is one of them. They are doing single family homes. Best thing about this community, in my opinion, is it's golf cart friendly. So you take this road right up here and you are in the old town part of Cottleville that has that main street feel. Am I too close? Is this my good side? No, you're good. It's, it's a wide angle. <laughs> All right, so you like, two, tell me. Is this my good side or is this my good side? <laughs> Do a vote. So McKelvey's display right here very nice looking from the outside. I think I'll take it. Sold. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the inside. Yeah, so right now we're outside the McKelvey Display Home. Um, so we're gonna take a look inside. Right. They are about half sold. So phase one. Phase one. Yes. They are sold out halfway through phase one. There will be other phases. They are mainly walkout and lookout basement. So they open a couple across the street that were in grade basements. Um, most people, once they do the upgrades and they go to the design studio they're ending up around seven seven fifty on average is what they said right. so yeah. um this house would probably be more than that because it's decked out but it gives you a feel for what you can yeah do. it is it is one of the smaller ones though so this is the, a ranch display she mm -hmm. said they do have some store and a half they've been doing yeah. closer like about this the 800s around, I think right two thousand square feet yes. two thousand yep all right we'll take a look inside let's do yeah. it let's do it Then, yeah, those are really nice. Yes. This would be the garage. Yeah, that's where the garage is supposed to be. Wow. Closet. I love the black accents. I do too. Look yes. at the lights. And so they did the darker cabinets on the bottom and they kept it light and bright, still with yeah. the white ones on the upper mm -hmm. cabinets. Yeah. Look at the countertops. I love the sports. It brings in the brown and the black. Yeah, it's so you can bring in either color. Yeah, the vein has like the gray and some of that gold color to it. Okay. Love the butler's pantry over here. Yes, just a nice little entertainment station. And it's nice that they did the, the glass front cabinets in a couple areas with the, the under lighting, up lighting, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, Never I think that's a nice touch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. It feels like the slate. Yeah, it looks like you can't really tell until you get close, but yeah. It kind of looks like the one out Wild Horse Village. It does, yeah. Very way. similar style. Okay, take a moment for the floors. I think this is white oak flooring, which is very in right now. Yes. Love the iron spindles on the staircase. It gives a little more of a modern feel to it. Yeah. Okay, so it's cool. 
You guys go. Out. Step outside. Wow. Covered. Big covered so patio. Nice big covered patio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a nice outdoor area. They have yeah. like table and chairs out here. Definitely a lot you can do with it. Not a huge yard, but it's manageable. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a little bit of backyard space and then neighbor's gonna be right there behind you. Right. Depending on what phase of life, some people want the smaller. Yeah, less easier time for on maintenance, the less, less yes. lawn to mow. They're, They're gonna like be golfing or? Too, it's not located by the house, which if you're having people here, if people are inside that right. house, that noise isn't going to carry over. So there's a little space from where you would sit out with your friends to, yeah. you know, yeah. where your neighbors are. And the highway noise is not bad. And by the time you get the other houses in here, you're probably oh, not going to notice it not at all. Notice it. They painted the doors a dark charcoal color, which looks yes. really nice. Wow, this is a great master. Yeah, all the doors Heavy match. Horn. It's a big master. It's a good. It's a great size. Yes. Oh, look at the shower. I like I like That's that. Fun. I like the lighting. Yeah, I like the lighting. Yeah, I like the lighting. The black and white, they kind of carried out throughout the whole house, like in the right. kitchen with the backsplash and then in the shower as well. And again, the gold. The gold is just coming back. I like it. Soft clothes. Soft clothes. <laughs> Decent sized walk in closet, too. I like that. It feels much bigger than two. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Much bigger. Right. It's made up very functional, open. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's the tall ceilings that might be okay. Well, it's kind of nice that it's, it's this flip floor plan. Right. So, the secondary bedrooms, bedrooms are, are yeah. masters in the back. So you have a nice separation. So this is where you'll come in once the house is not a yeah. display home. You'll come in from the garage there. Cubbies. Charcoal gray pocket door. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> First bedroom right here. What the we got Ferris here, Madison? Does not come with it, but look. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But the doors are painted in here. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like how they did this ran this accent through the entire home. Okay. So cute. It's a Barbie room. This is the best room we've seen today. Absolutely. Favorite room. Little girl's dream. Very Barbie themed. Yes. <laughs> Here, wait, you need to get you like in this room. You're gonna blend in. Right, you're gonna blend you're in. Gonna you're gonna camouflage in it, yes. Here he is. You a match? This wasn't intentional. Yeah. I didn't, I, didn't yeah. Know they were, I didn't know they were gonna have this. Jacob is prepared. He was prepared for the Barbie room. <laughs> house. This is how I'm editing videos from now on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love I it. I do love the keyboard. Oh, that's a cute photo op right there. Oh, work it. Look at the tile! Yeah, the tile's fun. Oh my gosh! This is so fun for a kid's bathroom. It's like speckled, but it has some blue, some light blue, kind of an orangey color. Yeah. I like the color that's coming back. It's fun, but it's still tasteful. A little, a little soda, soda break. break. Off to the next. All right, so there you have it. That was Lombardo and McKelvey with the display homes. Next up, we're going over to Consort and Fisher and Fritchell, which are the last two builders in this neighborhood. That's going to be a part two for this video because otherwise, if it was one long video, it'd be like 45 minutes. I'm going to split this up. So stay tuned for that, you guys.